Hi, it's Nami and Michael's over there. This is the two week update, but right now it's around a little over two and a half weeks since um, I had my C-section surgery. Michael's sitting with Mina. She's really sensitive right now, so he can't hold the camera for me. But I have a few updates because I think I'm getting an infection in my scar. I just took a shower, so that's why I look like this. I kind of whack, but I can show you my c-section scar it looks scary it looks really scary guys like right here I don't know I feel like like everywhere on this side is flat but on this side there's like a bit of lifting when I look like this too it's like really scary oh my gosh guys I think I have to cut in my stitch stitch thread I think maybe this is why Michael because I I did this before but I didn't do it this time around oh it's tugging it ow 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 scary oh my gosh scary scary <gasps> scary ooh gross I'm sorry this is the reality of life okay Ouch, it hurts to laugh. When I cough now and when I laugh, there isn't much pain, but except for that side, like the edge where it, it looks swollen, everywhere else on my incision, there's not as much pain. But last week, it was still painful. Well, my belly has shrunk a bit. I'll show you my belly and my measurements later on. But I'm also wondering if we should do updates for Mina and like her growth and her health um, because it's different than my recovery. This is a clip from earlier this week, right before I was two weeks. This is so scary. I know. Oh my gosh. So you can see my stitches are still in. This is two weeks. There's a little bit of bubbling right here. What, what do you call this, like, oozing? White blood cells? And the stitches, the loose stitches kind of is adhered to the white blood cells that have dried stuck here and I don't want to pull it off so it's just kind of stuck there I feel numb still right above my incision kind of halfway up to my belly button so from here to here it's still pretty numb my belly button still stretched out and oh my gosh it's scary ah! and then right here there's a bit of irritation where the end of my stitching is my doctor said it's probably just irritated from the stitching. There's a little bit of um, leakage as well. I don't know what that is, a scab? Ooh, scary. And this end right here. I'm hoping these bubbles will fall off. Like, I'm hoping they're just scabs. And they're not going to leave bumpy scars. I hope the rest of my incision looks flat like this. Scary! Oh my gosh, scary! I have been walking a lot though and they say that walking helps recovery because it gets your circulation going, it gets your um, organs and bowels moving again and it's just like good for your recovery. But I've also been experiencing a bit of postpartum depression. I feel like I should do like a, a video just based on that and my experience with it especially with the previous pregnancies because I feel like it was more extreme with um, like Galahad and Zeke's after postpartum. Now it doesn't hurt as much to walk around or move like my body as much. There is a little bit of numbness and tenderness still on my belly, like right along under my belly button, right here. If I if I press it, it hurts, and my belly button is still stretched out. There's still darkness around my mid abdomen. I am experiencing a little bit of back pain, but I want to be careful because. As my ligaments tighten the next six months, I don't want to damage any of my joints like I did the first time I was pregnant. But I find like when I strain or arch my back to breastfeed, especially when I'm lying down, I can feel like the pain in my lower back, the same pain that I had after I gave birth to Galahad for my back that lasted for two years until I got pregnant again. So I definitely want to be careful there. I guess I'll show you what my belly looks upright. It does look like it shrunk to like a three-month pregnancy size. They say six weeks to heal 
for a c-section i find six weeks for the initial heal six months for the recovery one year for when you can start exercising again like rigorous rigorous exercise but you should do like steady daily walking and stuff throughout and then two years to get back to pre-pregnancy so yeah i'll just show you my measurements now it's actually the next day and mina's sleeping like right here <laughs> but um it's sunday and i gave birth to her on a tuesday that does mean that we're closer to three weeks than we are two weeks but all of these symptoms and stuff are things that i noticed from the two weeks starting from the two week mark so i'm still gonna call this the two week update i'll just show you my belly now it went in a lot it looks more like a three month pregnancy belly now it's a lot less feels like it's going in i feel like by the six week mark my belly might my uterus might have contracted quite a bit at the breast i'm 34 and a half the size does vary depending on how much milk i have at that moment currently i just fed her like an hour and a half ago so yeah i guess this is like the average under bust at my ribs is 39 and a half my waist is 31 and a half but my waist at my belly button is gonna be a little bigger it's 33 and then my hips or 37 and a half so i think the numbers did shrink a little bit and this is just not from exercising much i've just kind of been walking around i also probably won't be doing any intense exercise until about a year after postpartum or a little over a year after postpartum but this is just shrinkage from just time and hormones i've actually never documented my size reduction after birth so i don't know how long it will take because i've never documented it but hopefully we'll see with the progress of my recovery what generally it might look like but it it will definitely be different for every person so that's it for this update um two weeks let me know if you want to see updates on her growth and her health as well um i'd probably make a separate series for that because if i were to mix the postpartum updates with her updates it would be like too much information in one video i feel like please let me know how frequently you might want to see these recovery updates um, i'm probably going to slow them down once my recovery kind of stabilizes because you know at the beginning there's more recovery and then later it's more slow and that's it so we'll see you next time bye